Hey guys, it's Jean here. I want to go ahead and do this quick video just to show you what we picked up at um, Walmart. Okay guys, so we went to Walmart because we had three of the Walmart gift cards. Now, they were not like this. They were actually with our Shopkick app. And um, I'll go ahead and show you on the receipt in a little bit um, how they took them off. So they're actually, they just scan them from your phone. Okay, but we had to go do a return because they overcharged us on a bologna that we had purchased. They charged us three thirty eight instead of it being actually one thirty eight. So they went ahead and give, gave us back the credit and a Walmart um, gift card. So we already used this up anyway. Okay, I'll go ahead and show you the receipt in a little bit. Okay, so this was um, the the Fanta. These are usually let me see how much these are. These okay, focus. Okay, the Fanta right there was a dollar. As you can see, that's the Fanta right there. The Funyuns and the Cheetos were 50 cents each. Okay, so we got those. These were actually 98 cents, these cookies right here. These um, Kraft, the single cheese, they were actually, actually come in a three pack. My daughter really likes these, so we went ahead and picked up these for her. There were a dollar for three of them. Then this was actually 98 cents, which is the canola oil. Normally we don't buy this. We normally buy coconut oil or olive oil, but um, we were in a pinch, so we ended up getting this for 98 cents. And then, um, and the reason why we got that is because we, we got potatoes, and the potatoes right now at Walmart are actually a dollar twenty-five. And then um, we got these pies right here. They're 50 cents each. They're pretty good. I mean, you can get two servings or four servings from here, depending on how much you want, how much of a sweet tooth you're having. But these are pretty good. We've had them before. Um, we've never tried the lemon pie, but we've, we've had the apple pie and the pecan pie. They're pretty good. So 50 cents each. So a dollar here, another dollar here, because we purchased um, two of them. So 50 cents each. Okay. And then this, uh, budding ham was actually on sale for $3. Um, great value was actually even more expensive. It was actually three forty seven, and all the other ones were three ninety eight and, and higher. So this is the cheapest one we found. And there's a decent amount of size. I mean, there's a decent amount in there. I think it's the same as all the other ones. So for $3, it's not bad. Then we went ahead and picked up this rice and I believe this was actually 75 cents. So we went ahead and picked up that. And then um, with the return that my husband went to go do because they charged us, we had a uh, bologna. They were supposed to be a dollar thirty-eight, but they overcharged us. They overcharged us um, three they actually charged us three thirty-eight for the bologna. So he went ahead and went back and changed it. So that's why they gave him the gift card. So he went ahead and picked up this um, for the kids. And then he picked up this. This was actually $1.98 and then the Pringles. So now let me go ahead and show you the receipt really quick. So here it is right here. The Fanta right there. Then you see the Honey Ham was $3. They went ahead and scratched that off because they did overcharge right there. You can see $3.38 right there for the budding, I mean for the bologna. And then the three pack string cheese was a dollar. The mini pies were 50 cents each. We got four of those. Then the potatoes were $1.25, and then the rice land, um, the rice was actually $1.47. Sorry, it wasn't 75 cents. It, um, my husband probably got the bigger one. And then the, the canola oil was $0.98. Cents. The Funyuns was $0.49. Cents. The Cheetos was $0.49. Cents. And the cookies were actually $0.88. Cents. Okay, so the total was fifteen ninety four, and then plus the taxes, we ended up paying sixteen ten. But from that, guys, we ended up using our Shopkick um, gift card, so we used three of them. My husband had um, accumulated already three gift cards, Walmart gift cards, so we went ahead and paid with that. So it took away $5 right there, another $5 right there, and another $5 right there. So in total, out of pocket for us, and remember, we went ahead and returned that bologna. So they gave us those um, $3.48 back, and then he went ahead and purchased that. So... Just keep that in mind. So in reality, we ended up paying sixteen ten for all of this right here. All of this right here. But it was actually all free because we didn't pay out of pocket at all. We only well actually we only paid the a dollar sixteen. So that's all we paid out of pocket. We paid a dollar sixteen for all this because we got free gift cards from just 
using our Shopkick app by going to stores, doing some scans on products and entering stores. Like today we went and we went to Marshall's and we got 150 kicks. We went to TJ Maxx and just by entering your store, they gave you 150 kicks. So um, if you do scans uh, with the Shopkick app, you just go ahead and like scan the barcode and then they'll give you some, some points for that. So that's how you get your Shopkicks. So once you get to, um, depending on what gift card you want, the points you, you accumulate is what they give you as a gift card. So like I still have $2 in a gift card that I need to use. Either I can use it at Target or TJ Maxx or I can just accumulate them and wait to get a $5 gift card. So this was actually a great deal, guys, because we were um, kind of struggling. We were actually on a pinch and we didn't have a lot of money right now. So this actually gave us some free food. Um, could we have gotten different stuff? Yes, but we ended up getting stuff that we know the kids would eat, some snacks, um, some stuff for sandwiches to have potatoes. Um, so this is what we ended up getting. So in, in, in total, we only spent a dollar and 16 cents for all this because all the other $15 were free. So I just want to go ahead and share that with you. This is a, an easy way to get some groceries. Um, it does take some time to accumulate points, but it is um, worth it in the end. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you do want me to do another video on how to do shop kicks, I will definitely do that. I'll go ahead and um, have my husband probably video it, or I'll go ahead and video my husband actually doing it or whatever. So you guys can get the hang of it. So, okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.